Hello queens, welcome back. Today's look is brought to you by the 24 karat news influencer Vox Box by Maybelline New York. So without further ado, let's get into this review and demo queens. Hey, so we're already going to start out with my eyebrows already done. I used the Anastasia Brow Wiz in dark brown. So for my foundation, we will be using the Maybelline Matte Poreless Normal to Oily Foundation in the shade 355 Coconut. I was initially introduced to this through Influencer. They sent me the shade Cappuccino um, in the number 340, but I couldn't find that I like to be a little bit warmer than on the yellow side. So we're just gonna continue to just apply this foundation all over the face. And literally, a little bit goes a long way, you guys. You know I use that term, I mean that phrase, interchangeably through a lot of my videos, but literally, a little bit goes a long way. What I love about this foundation is that it is perfect for oily skin girls like myself. I'm always battling oil. That has always been my issue with makeup. Hence why a lot of times you guys won't find me wearing it because my skin just tends to get so oily from all of the products being on throughout the day. But I love the Maybelline Fit Me Poreless Foundation because you guys, it is literally a poreless foundation. This foundation is about a six to eight hour lasting wear. Anything longer than eight hours, it probably wouldn't last or look as good. So this foundation, I would say, lasts about six to eight hours. I love the way it blends, and it definitely can give you full coverage. So now that we've completely blended out our foundation, we are going to move into highlighting. You guys know I love to use the LA Girls um, Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Toffee. Sometimes I like to use Spawn. I just interchange between the both of them depending on how I feel. But this particular morning I was heading to work and when I go to work, I do not like to have a super, super beat face. I try to keep it as normal as possible. So now that we've done that, I'm going to take a damp beauty blender and just simply blend all of that in. And with concealer, I find that you really do have to blend and you have to pretty much find the shade that you like for your own particular, you know, makeup style because some concealers can be a little bit too light on me. So sometimes I have to mix the concealer, but for the most part, I love to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Toffee. That is my favorite, favorite concealer to highlight. And I can also use the darker shades to contour as well. So now we're gonna set the highlighted areas using the e.l.f. Cosmetics Perfect Finish HD Powder. As you guys can see, apparently I've hit pan. I love this powder so much. Again, I like this one because it doesn't give you a lot of flashback. I've used other powders and I still tend to get flashback, but this one um, is not as bad. So this is why I love this one so much. So now I'm moving into the BH Cosmetics Modern Mattes Palettes. I found this at Burlington in a recent haul. And we're just gonna simply take those two colors up top and, and put those in the crease and outer crease. And I'm just gonna continue blending this. You guys won't see me pretty much continuing to build this up, but I don't like to have a very intense look when going into work. Hence why I'm going in with a lighter transition shade. Now moving on to the star of the show is the 24 karat nudes Maybelline New York palette. I love this palette you guys. And they also sent over their everlasting waterproof gel pencil. And I'm not sure what the shade is, but I will leave it listed down below. But I use this as my base before going in with the eyeshadow that I will be using for today. I just simply went in with two different, well, three different eyeshadows technically. So we're just going to use the waterproof gel pencil as a base so that way the eyeshadow can actually pop a little bit more. And you're just going to continue to just fill that in, just taking your time and only applying that where you want to actually have that real true pop of color so i'll be taking that pinkish champagne gold color in the top left corner to apply on top of my lid and then we're going to follow that by going in with the falsies push-up angel mascara from maybelline new york i love this freaking mascara you guys know i love mascara i'm a mascara junkie and what i love about this mascara is that it has the tiniest wand ever it reminds me of the telescopic um mascara for maybelline as well so you guys definitely get your hands on this because you can build up the intensity of your eyelashes as you can see here um my left side didn't have any eyeliner i mean i'm sorry any mascara on it yet 
so you can continue to build this up for this particular video it will seem like i didn't but throughout the day i continue to keep putting on my lashes because i love to have a very dramatic uh, lash look and i like to attempt that by using the mascara and this push-up angels mascara is ba bomb so look at that you guys i got me some eyelashes and i'm definitely loving my eyeshadow look i'm loving it so now we're going to go in with just filling in my lips. I love using my NYX lip liners. I've been using these for like the last three years. You can pick them up at Ulta. The shade that I'm using today is Mahogany. This is like my favorite, favorite, favorite shade. It has that cranberry brown purple color. I'm not able to really describe it, but you guys see on my lips pretty much the color that it's giving me. And that's what I'm going for. It's like a soft peachy nude look. So I'm just going to go in with my black radiant sandy nude lip gloss and i just love how that color just brings everything together it's perfect for the everyday girl like me who just likes a simple normal beat who's not trying to go for a super beat or cake face so now we're going to top that off with another gloss from black radiance i will leave that um link and the name of the lip gloss is listed down below and i'm just going to apply that on top to give my lips a little bit more shine oh, i just love this shade and because I'm just extra, I'm going in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Palette and definitely hitting up the highlighter again. I love this palette. I've been using it for over a year now and I actually have the lighter um, palette as well and that highlight is popping too. So I'm just gonna apply this on the highest points of my cheekbones. As you guys can see, I've already had some, but I just wanted to be a little extra. And apply some on the bridge of my nose. And then I'm also gonna go on top of my Cupid's bow. And that pretty much concludes this look and unboxing, you guys. So thank you so much to Influencer and Maybelline for selecting me to be a part of the Maybelline 24 karat News Influencer Vox Box. I highly enjoyed all of the products. I love my look, you guys. If you're interested in seeing me create more looks using the Maybelline 24 Karat Nudes Palette, let me know down below. Thank you guys so much for your continual love and support, and I'll see you in the next upload, queens.